Hey guys, today I'm going to create a scene based on an abandoned building that there's pictures of in Namibia, I think it is, where it's kind of like a desert and the desert is coming inside the building and there's sand all over the floor and kind of creating its own really strange, surreal look. And I'm going to be building this into the world that I've been creating here, this kind of surreal dreamscape or afterlife type world. And I think we'll be able to start to build up a little bit of a story for that world with this and I'm kind of excited to just play around with it. So if you haven't seen them before, I did two videos previously that's based in this world I'm starting to create. This one with some strange doors and then one with a cabin on top of this half skull. I'll leave a link in the description of these videos if you need to check them out. But today's video is going to be set in the same world and I'm going to continue to just build out what this might be. So I'm planning to just make this a very simple piece, just, you know, the structure and obviously the decaying paint and things that are, you know, usual for abandoned places, but really make the sand uh, the highlight and maybe how I light the, you know, the scene and how I film it. So I'm gonna put the structure together and then actually just dump tons of sand into it. I'm gonna find just a really nice fine grain sand and try to get a look that I think is really interesting, maybe a little surreal and kind of just um, eye catching. So I'm using my liquid latex technique as always to get some peeling paint on these walls before I get them all glued together into the structure. So I've had a few ideas for this world that I'm creating and I like the idea that it is kind of dreams like it potentially could be a dream that you fall into this world and maybe you are able to open certain doors and walk down certain pathways and find yourself in places that are either interesting or unexpected or maybe terrifying. I really like the idea of some of these places even being just places that are as people's consciousness, whether they're people that are living and have this kind of powerful kind of um, dream consciousness that just pervades into this world and then others can explore it, or people that have passed and are no longer with us but now have these places in this scape, or maybe even just entities that are more powerful and old than we can even comprehend. I think setting that up that way just makes it really kind of scary to even mess around with this place. If you find yourself in a hallway with different doors and they look different and all have unique qualities, then maybe you open one of them and it potentially changes your mindset about something or changes your trajectory in whatever journey you're kind of on. This way, each place would be unique, but also could come with its own consequences, whether good or bad, depending on what choices you make. So anyway, let me know in the comments what you think about this. Give me some ideas maybe for where you'd like to see this story heading. So as you saw, I laid down some glue just to get like a base layer of sand, and then I started adding sand on top. And I'm not planning on securing the sand at all, at least not any further. I'm just going to be dumping it on and allowing it to be kind of just this mound, maybe a drift inside. And I'm playing around with this chair. I think I end up kind of putting it upright in the end, but it needed something extra like that. All right, so I just wanted to get into how I was gonna film this. I made this specifically to film. It's obviously a much more simple piece than normal, but I made it quite large, so I had a lot of room for the camera and for lighting and some depth perspective. So I've got it laid out here. I've got my big TV screen in the back and a monitor on the side to provide kind of like background and outdoors images of desert. And then I have two lights over there and one light over here. Those two are the Aperture 600D and I believe a 200 watt light, the small rig 200D. And they're both punching through the windows to create these, the, the nice little light inside. And this little MC light is just providing a little bit more fill into the shadows, so nothing's going too dark and noisy. If you've been around this channel a while, you might notice that this slider rig looks a little different. I'm gonna get into that in a future video very soon. Um, but otherwise, I'm just 
monitoring everything on this monitor here and using my same probe lens to get all these different shots. And what's nice about it is I can get really close and even go right in through the miniature with this probe lens and slider to get some really interesting dynamic shots. All right, so I've turned off the extra lights. I'm getting ready to, to set a couple keyframes and do a quick slide move. So this can work with any type of motorized slider. And I'm basically just using my phone to move the slider back and forth, get it in position, and I can even set things like focus and pan and tilt and everything on the system. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my first keyframe and then move the slider over to the other end, exactly where I want it hit another keyframe, and then just quickly dial in how fast I want the move to be. At this point, I just reset the move. I use atmosphere aerosol for a lot of my haze effects, and I just basically get ready, haze it, start the camera, and start the slide move. So this slider system is actually the Exebo motion control system, and if you're interested at all in any of this type of stuff, I'm gonna be doing a dedicated review on this and talk about all of the interesting things that it can do now and how much better it's been for my workflow. But otherwise, stay tuned for these final shots. All right guys, let me know what you think of this growing world that I'm creating in the comments. And if you're interested in how I do my filmmaking and my motion control system that I've just gotten into, stay tuned, hit subscribe. I'm gonna be doing a lot more content and start doing really cool things with some of this new technology. You're not gonna to wanna to miss that. So I'll catch you next time.